We have Hades here behind me. It's starting to rain, but we are actually heading to the Dodge dealership because we're going to be trading in Hades today on a truck. When it comes to Hades, I just think it's a little too riced out for my taste. We went off the deep end with this car, and I think it's just time. I think it's time to move on. I wish I didn't have to do this, but, you know, it's a kind of against company policy to hold a car for longer than a year, hence the Terminator Cobra. I'm just here to ruin everything, and we're going to start off with trading in Hades today for a new Chevy truck. I'm freaking stoked guys. I don't know about you, but if you are drop a like up on this video Let's get negative 500 likes as soon as we hit negative 500 likes I will literally crash this car into Martin's m4 negative 500 likes. Let's make it happen I don't know if I have to spell this out for you, but I apostrophe m space a m space k i d d i n g Exclamation point. I am kidding. I know I'm a very good actor and a lot of you probably didn't see that coming we are going to be taking Hades to the dealership because our buddy Tyler down the road with the scat pack, he's actually considering trading in the scat pack towards a new truck. And I figured I'd go with him just to kind of see what's out there on the market because I really, really do want a truck. I'm loving this car as of right now, though. It's fitting all the purposes that, you know, I intended to buy it for. But a truck, though, it's just one of those things that it's almost a necessity in the YouTube game. And I just keep thinking, like, imagine slapping Blucifer on an aluminum trailer and then having a badass truck and just towing it around the country doing events and stuff so it definitely crossed my mind don't get me wrong what else has crossed my mind is the fact that martin's m4 here things freaking gorgeous we have a race locked in when hades is back on e85 and the drag pack you know i'm gonna have to bust some m4 ass and uh that's just the way way it's gonna have to be so martin car's beautiful man but here hold on let me get you a shot really quick and you'll see the rice rockets rear end take a look at that i would like to see this carbon diffuser while racing but it's just not gonna happen you can take a look at this though those are my shark fins. I'm definitely a little sad that Tyler's getting rid of old Scat Daddy. Um, I love that Charger. It fits him. It's a four-door. You know, it, it's loud. It looks good. Totally understand where he's coming from, though. Like, when it comes to trucks, I'm all about it. Like, I want one so bad, but the only thing that's, like, holding me back is the fact that it's, like, you know, I got Blucifer for content, and it's a Mustang, and then, like, I have Hades here. It's a 10-speed daily slash content slash modifiable Mustang that you know a lot of people can relate with so it, it kind of puts me in a hard spot because I'm not just gonna go out and buy another truck um, this is the only vehicle we owe on so I, I kind of like to keep it at one car payment so purchasing a truck would be uh, it'd be a little scary not gonna lie because trucks are not cheap and I wouldn't want anything that's like super base or super old I would want probably like a newer f-150 fully loaded you know, negative 500 likes and we'll make it happen. Hey. What up, Ram Daddy? Oh, that was weird. That was weird. I can't say that. It's not Scat Daddy, though. So what do we, what do we call you? I don't know. We'll find out when that time comes. Ram Daddy? Yeah. Does Ram Daddy have a good ring to it? Who is that? Who's that knucklehead? What's up? Speaking about Rams, where's Ben at with that real American muscle? It was 60 degrees yesterday. Absolutely gorgeous out. It's raining today. And this week, it's supposed to snow. I love it here. Speaking about Scat Daddy, there she is, boys. Well, I'm definitely going to miss this, boys. The Scat Pack. AKA Scat Daddy, you know, the black and white, salt and pepper. Mm. If I were to buy one Mopar, it would probably be a Charger Hellcat for sure. I love the way they look with the four doors and especially the wide body and stuff. You don't have the wide body on this one. I know I rag on them and joke about them all the time, but they are really nice cars. We got a three valve in the complex. Oh, he's trying to stunt. I see you, Micah. We're heading to the Dodge dealership now, and I'm not exactly sure if Tyler has already talked about like a trade-in value that they're gonna give him for his car. We'll, we'll get more information once we get there. I hate when people get rid of cars, and now I totally understand how you guys feel when I switch it up, so forgive me. <laughs> we got a clean F-150 right here. I wouldn't mind something as simple as this, for real. She nice. There's Blucifer on a trailer getting pulled behind it on its way to Florida. Damn, check that out. Pulling into the dealership now. Let's go find him and let's hopefully convince him to make a horrible financial mistake. Because, you know, that's what friends are for, right? New toys, new bills, new payments. Yo, so is there one? <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't have the stuff that I want. 
so this truck wouldn't be the one, but just kind of getting a I feel. I need to get an idea what these rebels look like in person. Kylo, what about you? No comment from Kylo. Is that Scat Daddy right there? Tyler, they got the new whip right there, bro. Upgrade that golf cart, though. Those for sale, too? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mopar, no car, brother. Where are we? As Tyler said, we're gonna go look at a Rebel. Um, pretty familiar with them. Not, like, super, super familiar, like an F-150, but um, I know they're really nice trucks. So, this one doesn't have the exact package he wants, but just to get an idea of what the truck looks like, how it feels, um, and I'm sure he's just gonna go from there. So, take a look at this thing. Where's she at? Right there. there she is. Oh, yeah. It's a 2021. Uh, I, I guess. Front end looks sick, in my opinion. I love that. She looks mean. Yes. Yeah, I like the way they look. I really do. Definitely a nice truck. So, what packages were you looking at? Electronics package has the 12 inch digital dash. Mm, okay. And the sunroof. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's a must. 22. Gotcha. Oh, wow. Interior is really nice, though. I like this. The two tone. I mean, Tyler, this one's nice as shit, too, though, for real. Oh, yeah, it's nice. For sure. I like the seats, dude. Oh, let me hop in this back seat. Today's video is indeed sponsored by our friends over at Custom Interior. You guys know we recently just did a video with them with my buddy Tim's car. He had just purchased a brand new to him EcoBoost that had cloth seats and we went ahead and transformed those cloth seats into something special. I don't know how you do it on YouTube, dude. We just completed the skin overlay. Also provide these seat covers for so many different models of cars. The package I want is the 12 inch dash. Yeah, so I know which one you're talking about. Like yeah, this. they're huge. It's super spacious. I like the seats, dude. I, I like, like the color. I was concerned about the red, but it's not that Bro. bright red. Yeah, no, it's not It's not like bright red. This is like a, uh, it's almost like a maroon. Not even quite a maroon. I don't even know what color it is, but. Like in terms of the one with the specific, it's called the night edition, mm -hmm. where everything's just murdered out all the Oh, really? Wait, which one do you like better? This or the murdered out one. Murdered out. Yeah. I would have. I mean, this is really nice though. I'm just glad it's not the bright red. It's so a clean look. It leaves me open for this option too. Does it have like um? Does this option, since it's a like a level one electronics, does it have like heated seats and shit? Do you know? Yeah, it has heated, not ventilated. Seats, not though. ventilated. Okay. So these right here have this thing called the E torque. So it basically replaces your alternator and starter, and it literally acts as a separate battery to start the car so that it doesn't burn out your starter and alternator. No kidding. Crazy. That's pretty cool. And apparently it gives you from the up to 2000 RPM, it gives you an extra 100 pounds of torque, which is insane. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Now she's nice. I like it. Do you know ballpark what these are running? Like right now, so what do you- this brand new is probably 64, Woo. 65. Fully loaded, they're probably- Damn. It's a lot thicker than I thought it would be, which is nice. Got the tow hook so I can pull your dad out of a ditch. Chill, bro. Don't pull me out of a ditch or Brandon. We know yeah. Brandon's gonna be locked up in those ditches. Yeah. I had to pull him out one year. I'm gonna have to pull somebody out of a ditch. I don't know. Teddy might send that. Maybe we could just get stuck on purpose for a video. Lucifer just like it. backing into a ditch. Be like, damn. I need you to pull me out. There's option number one, a rebel. Yeah, I need a shop like this. That's when you know. Could you imagine? Made. Just like cars just lined up. Not gonna lie, this shop's kind of beat though. You think old ass place? Yeah, I mean, motherfuckers need to re renovate this shit. It's like a dungeon. <laughs> I doubt the mechanics come in here and they're like, "Oh, I love it. I love it in here." I still think you should settle for the club car, Tyler. Could you imagine the the squealing of the locking up brakes you could do in that thing? I traded the truck for that. I have so much aftermarket work to do. <laughs> well, I mean, you could just get this. I like the wide body. When I got the scat, it was supposed to have these wheels on it around the corner here. Oh, damn. What Those happened? Were the wheels that they were supposed to bring me for my car when I put in the request for it to go get it. And they talked to you? Yeah, they talked to me. They gave me the regular ass, little dusty ass, whack ass wheels. I was <laughs> so mad, dude. I was about to tell them to take 10,000 off the car. <laughs> the green's pretty fire on this. I'm not going to lie. Imagine if that was a cat, bruh. We're currently in Hades, my 2020 Mustang GT, because recently we went ahead and installed a Mach 1 front end conversion on the car, 
which I have been loving by the way. And about nine months ago now, I had gotten the car uh, two step paint correction with a double ceramic. And considering I swapped out the bumper, that means this new bumper and what is going on here? Police are deep. Since I got rid of the stock bumper that had a paint correction and ceramic coating done to it, uh, this one does not. And you can definitely tell whenever I wash the car. So we're actually heading to my buddy Eric's house with Ethic Auto Detailing to do two things. One, get the bumper, the mock bumper, paint corrected and ceramic coated, which you'll see that whole process in this video. And two, I'm actually going to do some side work for them with my new business, Define Social. I own a social media marketing agency and we're gonna be doing some video work for him to you know, be able to run ads for his uh, you know, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, get him some photos and uh, you know things like that because that's what we specialize in. And if any of you have a business or are looking to like start a YouTube channel or start a business, please visit our website, www.definesocial.co. You can email me at contact at definesocial.co and we can get you quoted up to get some work done and get your 2023 rolling on a fresh start with, uh, with something new. So with making this YouTube video, we do manage and edit YouTube videos as well. So if you wanna provide us content, we can get them edited, uploaded, thumbnails, the whole nine. So if you're interested in that service as well, feel free to contact us. Well, we just made it to Eric's. Gonna pull Hades on in. He has such a sick garage setup. We're back. How's everything been? Yeah, How you doing, bro? Same old. What you think? I like that front end. It looks good, don't it? Yep. Yeah. Car's a little dirty, guys. Typical. But, ew. Yeah, look at that. He's not going to be happy with me. I'm going to get this thing matching the rest of the car. He did a crazy job on it. And uh, I definitely recommend ceramic coating, guys. I can't stress it enough. Uh, especially black cars. Any car, it, it's amazing. But black, because, you know, you can wash this thing. And within a week, it looks like this. Literally. And this is like three months without washing, but you gotta do it, man. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. It's worth it. You can actually tell, like, this is uh this was just painted probably like hell, I've had it on for like a month and a half, two months now, I think. But when I washed it the first time, this was just horrid. This whole thing. The rest of the car came right off, super simple. And we want to get the front bumper like that again. So that's today's process. And we're going to be what? What's the breakdown on the front bumper? We're just going to clean this thing up, prep it for polish and coat. Um, so we're going to do a little inspection, take a look, see how much it needs. If it needs a one step or a two step, I'm assuming since it's fresh paint, you probably get away just with one just step. a one step on there just to get those fine little things out of it, prep it for the coating. Um, throw the same, same coating we did on the rest of the vehicle, just match everything up and yeah, take care of the matte surfaces too, which we'll be able to coat as well and get it like the rest of the car. Shmoney. So you guys are gonna see that right here. I'm gonna do some cinematics for him. Are you still doing Mustangs at all or has it slowed down? Not as many Mustangs. Not as many? All right, guys, we gotta get more Mustangs. Yeah, get more back. Mustangs. Well, you're gonna film us jacking it up too, huh? All right, guys, as you saw, Eric just finished up two-step paint correction with a ceramic coating on the bumper. It looks phenomenal. Freaking phenomenal. Look how glossy. This was all scratched up. Just one wash I did. I was super gentle with it, too, but 
the paint is just so soft and you know the plastic on the bumper that's why eric wasn't able to mask it believe it or not i'll actually show you um, we put the really really less tacky tape on for some reason um just this cheap plastic that came with the kit that i did get painted to make it look better it just um it was just so soft i feel like and even just taking the paint off or the tape off slow it took it off in like a tiny area you can't even see it but we decided against taping it all off because it's all painted um it turned out perfect though honestly it's just Matches the car. Well, not right now because this is disgusting. Look how dirty this thing is. Ew. Go ahead and uh, plug your business real quick. Yeah, any services you need in the detailing world, whether it be ceramic coating, paint polishing, standard detail, you can hit me up at the website, www.ethicautodetailing.com. Um, you can also see me on Instagram and yeah, that's about it. Bring your car here, get it done. Done a ton of Mustangs, and he'll get you get you right. And now's the time to do it. We were just talking. Winter is the time to do it. I don't know why everybody would wait till spring. Springtime comes, you want to take the car out and have it ready to rock. You don't want to drop it off during the spring. So get your appointment in right now. Get your thing taken care of. Got to let this cure for, we'll say a little over a week just to be 100% certain. We'll get the rest of the car washed up, and it'll really... It'll really look good. Um, it's just been tough. It's been raining, cold, you know, winter stuff. It blows. But uh, Eric likes my riciness back here. I'm, I told him it's perfect. S550s suck. They're ricies anyway, so it flows so well. See, active exhaust is so nice. Nice and quiet. Hey, you wanna see what it sounds like opening? Oh, we're good to go.